if this armillary sphere, sundial, is to be any memorial to you, Rick, it must be used. It will always be a crafted piece of laboratory equipment as well as art, and in the best of worlds, is there really any difference? I promise to finish the lab I'm working on, but you know, it will require our students to make careful measurements outside of class on their own. Some of these will be made hours apart. We will do nothing less than have our students observe nature outside the classroom, maybe the first time for more than a few. That's a hopeful thing we shared. Remember how we both got into trouble in that summer program for the gifted? My crime was showing them math, but yours was so much better. You showed them some measure of physical access to the atmosphere of our small world. You told those kids about the EAA, Young Eagles, and at least one student had her pilot's license before she turned 18. So now I think of you every time I drive south on Highway 41, past the F-86 Sabre pointing skyward in Oshkosh. And there was Milwaukee, that second to the last dome painting job. You and Diana drove up and I didn't make it because my brother passed away. And I taught astronomy at UW-Fox that summer. And in the fall, back home, you helped me saw up that big oak that came down in a storm. And you were gone two weeks later. And the wood stove heat of 60 years of sunlight kept us warm through last winter's cold. Here's four lines of verse. I started thinking about you up in Milwaukee. It was raining when we reached Chicago. But the tears didn't start rolling down my cheeks until we rolled into Kokomo. That's by Mr. Eric Bibb, who you should all be aware of. Thank you very much.